What's going on, Bird Game? Philly Carnage here. Welcome back to the channel. As we remember last time you guys saw me, we had the Tennessee Titans rebuild, who we play here in week three. Uh, you know that the previous video will be down below in the link, so be sure to check that out. Um, you know, as well as just the the playlist. So make sure to check all that out for all the five year rebuilds that I've done here so far on the channel. But as you see here, we're taking on the Minnesota Vikings. And as always, don't forget to hit that sub button with the little bell icon on. That way, every time I post new content, you're one of the first to know. And we have a like goal. We are trying to hit 15 likes on this video. So the quicker we can hit that, the better. So please, please don't forget to hit that sub and drop the like and comment. To let me know what you're guys thinking in, you know, pretty much for this rebuild. You know, getting a little ahead of myself already as as I'm just, you know, throwing random things out here. So, you know, kind of just taking a look here at the team. We're in 81 overall, 80, uh, 81 offense, 83 defense. And, you know, the biggest thing that I wanted to do. Sorry, Kurt. It's going to be the uh, Kellen Mon, Mon show. You know, the 6'3", 214 rookie out of Texas A&M. You know, so far, Kirk Cousins has not really produced at all in the NFL other than his typical 8-8 eight and eight seasons. But, you know, to me, I think it's time. You know, yes, Kirk Cousins is on an absolutely horrible contract. Uh, so we, we are pretty much stuck with him to be on the team. But at this point, I'm good with just letting him be a backup as he's due 21 million this year, 31 in 21, and 45 million to finish out that monster contract that he just, you know, bent Minnesota over for and didn't bring any, any lube. So, you know, like I said, I, it, it's time just to, just to mention that we got Dalvin Cook and, uh, I always forget his first name. Alexander Madison there as our running backs. Uh, we got Abdullah there as well, just more as a somewhat of a change of pace. But you know, Madison is really that the change of pace back that we have compared to Dalvin Cook. We got Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, who yes, yes, my Philadelphia Eagles decided they wanted to skip on. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Alasabi, something like that. Uh, Johnson, 71 overall wide receiver out of Colorado State. You know, has that 89 speed, so he's not really what we're looking for, but, you know, we just kind of had to rock with it. And old BB, uh, if, if I remember right, BB has like 90 some, 95 speed, no 86. Who is it? Is it Osborne? One of these receivers is really fast, and he's not even in here. Towards the, the the starting lineup, we got Darsaw, you know, rookie, right ta left tackle out of Virginia Tech that's going to be starting 71 overall. Wyatt Davis, rookie left guard out of Alabama. No, Ohio State, wrong guy. Uh, Greg Brad uh, Bradbury, who is a, a solid center. Uh, here's a Cleveland, their right guard, Brian O'Neill as the right tackle, and Irv Smith. So we have Irv Smith there, you know, Got some big shoes to fill taking over Kyle Rudolph's position. On the defensive line, we got Weatherly, Michael Pierce, Dalvin Tomlinson, and Daniil Hunter. Don't be surprised when you hear me call him Danielle all the time. Pat P decided to come out of Arizona in free agency and signed here with the Minnesota Vikings. 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 Okay. Uh, Mackenzie Alex Alexander and you know this guy, Jeff Gladney. Definitely one that I want to watch. You know, he's a little undersized at that, that 5'10", 191. Uh, here they have him as a rookie at a TCU, but technically he has one year in. But, you know, he he can grow to be an absolute beast. Xavier Woods, Chaz Surratt, Michael Kendricks, Anthony Barr, and Harrison Smith to round out the team. So... <clears throat> As we go ahead, we're going to sim up this game here against the Green Bay Packers. I'm pretty sure they still have Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback. And look at that. We already have the opportunity for a breakout scenario for 
old Kellen Mon, you know, uh, what is it? Just needs 300, three passing touchdowns and the win. All right, hopefully this team can, you know, whoop up on Indy and go ahead and do that for us as we have a injury. Daniil Hunter out seven weeks already. What a huge blow to that defensive line as we're going to go and we're going to sim up here, try to hope, hope that Kellen Mond gets the uh, breakout. I mean, we got a, a shutout, 24 nothing against the Colts. Um, he remains a normal dev. So, yeah, dev, not not what we really wanted to see. As uh, this is, this is irritating me. Why is why can't I go up and down? You know this this happened last rebuild where I couldn't go through, and while I was actually recording, I could not go and upgrade our guys. So we just had to go through and auto upgrade them. Uh, here we go. We got the scout playing players. So, you know, obviously we're going to go ahead and import 22 since 21 is already in there, which you get like the guy like Sam Howe. So, you know, just got to burn a couple scouting points here on him since, you know, it's the first time that we're doing it. Uh, kind of sucks that we can't just skip that, but, you know, Really, we just we gotta take it as it is. Derek Stingley would definitely be a guy that we would love to have in our secondary. Kyle Hamilton as well. Um, you know, just kind of looking at left guard, but we have a rookie there. His his overall is just not the greatest. We could look at moving on from Kellamund already, uh, but I'm I'm not a hundred percent on that. Wide receiver definitely need to go through. And scout pretty much anybody as, you know, Thielen and Justin Jefferson are really our biggest guys. As we got the Tennessee Titans here in week three, like I said earlier, make sure to go check out that rebuild that was just previously done on the channel. As we're just going to go ahead and we're going to sim this game up. We, we suffer a 31 to 10 loss. So definitely not not what we were looking at as we're sitting one and two taking on the one and two Houston Texans. Um, I'm not not 100 percent sure where I want to come in and try out old Kellen Mund. Um, I kind of want to do it early, so I'm also trying to think of a team that we may that we start to rebuild in the AFC. That way we can kind of jump ahead, but hopefully by the time. You know, we hit our final episode here. That'll happen. So I know I, I'm I'm pretty sure the next N NFC team that I'm going to do is probably the Bears or the Panthers. So kind of seeing what's going on around week 10 and week 12 might be when we decide to jump in. So simming up this game against Houston, we're going to try to you'll get that victory. And we do 31-27. Very nice as we're back to 500, taking on the two and two Seattle Seahawks, which we can go in here and you know auto upgrade our guys since we're not allowed to do it ourselves. So, you know, hopefully the, the team's starting to get better 83 overall, 83 well, pretty much 83 across the board. So, you know, hopefully that that win against Deshaun Watson, hopefully we can still do something, uh, with that same game plan. Hopefully, you know, lock up. Uh, Russ Wilson. So, you know, yeah. So, simming this game up, and we get a 27 14 loss to Seattle as we suffered another injury. This time we lost Garrett Bradbury uh, four weeks for a pooled groin. So, this offensive line is really starting to hit a hit. Well, they, they took a pretty solid hit there. Uh, losing him, that brings in a 67. So we dropped from an 80 to a 67 overall uh, center. You know, luckily the centers aren't too big of you know a need here on the offensive line other than running the inside zones. And we got a breakout scenario for Steven Weatherly. I uh, believe this is to go ahead and get him up to a star dev, hold the Falcons less to on. Then 100 rushing yards needs either an interception, force fumble, TFL, or a sack. So hopefully, 
here in this game against the Atlanta Falcons in week six that can happen. So summing up here, like I said, against the one and four Atlanta Falcons, we get a 37 to 13 victory. And there we go. Roll out that red carpet. Uh, Steven Weatherly has arrived. We now have a new shiny star dev trait for him, which is it's nice because we need as many dev trades as we possibly can get. You know, just that's that's one step closer to go ahead and hitting that, you know, superstar. As you know, just kind of taking a look where we're at here in scouting. We haven't done too much, went down, scouted a good bit of receivers. Uh, which I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this through the year. Like Jadon Reed could be, uh, I thought he might have been in this uh, nice one. Chris Charleston Rambo could be another one. Uh, you know, if you guys have followed TD Barrett at all, I know in one of his rebuilds, Charleston Rambo, granted, it's a whole different draft class, but he turns out to be an absolute beast. Um, you know, we've been looking down here on the, the left end, just trying to figure figure something out. I um, haven't really found too many. I, I mean, of course, I'd, I'd love having uh, George Karlaftis had him in the Patriots rebuild, and he is an absolute monster. Right end, you know, Zach Harrison, we had him for Pittsburgh, and he's a beast. He's a beast. So, really, we're just, we're just trying to find somebody, yes, we're looking right in, even though we have Danielle Hunter. But, you know, we could as, just as easily move them over to that left end position defensive tackle. You know, we're pretty good there. But, of course, it's always good to do our due, gil due diligence to fill it out. We got the bye week here. And, you know, just going to sim it up here. Week 8 against the Green Bay Packers, who we suffered our first loss to early in the season. They're currently sitting at... Three and three as well as we are. So, you know, we're still in good position. Um, even though the Bears have a two game lead, we still have to play them twice this year. So, getting the Sim going up against the Green Bay Packers, and we suffer a 38, uh, not 38, 28 to 10 loss. Uh, Garrett Bradbury has the opportunity to return, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to let him sit since, you know, we are taking on the one and six. Detroit Lions, we have another injury to the team. Harrison Smith tears his quad. He's out for four four weeks. So our our big time guys are are out. They've been out and they haven't really been here to produce for us. As we're just gonna send this game up here against the Detroit Lions and hope to the Lord that we get a win and we lose 30, 31 to 17. Uh, yeah, definitely not the position that we want to be in. So taking a look at some of the guys that we have to re-sign, Brian O'Neill's definitely one of them. Uh, pretty much we're just going to go all the way over here to the right and then work our way back. A lot of these guys, we're going to go ahead, we're going to let walk. Um, I didn't realize that old Weatherly only had 59 power moves. I, that's that's horrible. As, you know, a lot of these guys we want to go ahead and we want to re-sign. So Anthony Barr is going to be the first one to get a contract extension and we got him resigned. Brian O'Neill, another one that we want to lock up only for they only had it for a two year. Uh Harrison Smith, can we get him locked up? We don't want to lose that X factor uh, on the defense. And he wants a little more salary. So we we can go we can work with that. Xavier Woods at free safety. You know, just keep that defense. He wants some more money. Mackenzie Alexander as well. You know, hopefully we can get him off that normal dev trait and get him, you know, improved. So with that, if we, you know, we're going to wait until a little later on, see if we can go ahead and get Pat P on a one year. And that will just it'd be very beneficial. We're going to go ahead. We're going to send this game against the six and three Chicago Bears. And, you know, like I said, we, we're going to come in against the Panthers or the Bears. You know, we still have that opportunity in week 15 to come in against the Bears, and we get the victory. 30 to 27. We beat up on Justin Fields and the Bears. I believe that's the quarterback that they're rocking, but I'm not 100% sure. So here, week 11, we got the Dallas Cowboys, who are currently sitting four and five. It, I'm surprised because typically in the rebuilds, they're actually doing absolutely great in the, the at least the first year 
of the rebuilds that we do. We have a weekly award, and we got uh, Kellen Mond, 295, three passing touchdowns. He got sacked twice, carried three times for two yards. So it's nice to at least see him getting up there and getting recognized within the league as we'll go ahead. We'll upgrade those four guys. We got the Panthers. I'm I'm pretty sure we have we've done a game against the Panther Panthers at some point throughout one of the last few rebuilds. So we're gonna go we're gonna sim this game and then we're gonna come in there that week 15 game against the Bears in Minnesota. So simming up like I said against the six and five Carolina Panthers, and we suffer a 26-16 loss. We have a breakout scenario for Mackenzie Alexander. Uh, this should be enough to go ahead and get him up to a star dev. Uh, so, as normal, that would be great. As we did go ahead, we locked him up. And Irzik, yeah, Izra, Urza, Cleveland, out for six weeks, dislocated ankle. So this has been the year of the injury. Uh, honestly, it kind of looks, kind of feels like I'm watching the Philadelphia Eagles as they have been injury riddled throughout the last few years as we're going to sim up against Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. We lose 42 to 40, you know, un unable to go ahead and get that dev trait, but we have another breakout scenario this time for Olabisi Johnson. Uh, this would be to go ahead and get him a star dev, two touchdowns or a hundred total yards. So we're sitting five and seven. We should have a victory here against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but who knows with Madden? And we get a twenty-seven to twenty-four victory. Check out the breakout. Unfortunately, he was unable to come away with it. As we're sitting six and seven, we're getting a little closer to that top spot in the division. And a win here against the Chicago Bears would help tremendously. So getting in here against the Chicago Bears in U.S. Bank Stadium, home of Super Bowl 52, you know, hopefully, you know, Kellen Mond can do something and, you know, maybe let's, let's try for another player of the week as we're going to kick this ball off here. Uh, almost couldn't see because the mic is right dead center of, you know, where the kick meter pops up. So we're, that, that's going to be something that we need to adjust. So if it gets a little loud, I'm just sliding the mic over. So, you know, Justin Fields is going to go ahead and get this ball first as hopefully this defense. Then, you know, get in there, get some pressure. We're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on the Neil Hunter. Try to go ahead and get some. Oh, good, good PBU. By Eric Hendricks. Starting him off, bringing up a second and 10. We get a little bit of a brush, and then we get the swim, but Justin Fields rolls. Come on, Harrison, smack him. Where is the hit stick? Justin Fields able to get upfield and come away with a fresh set of downs as we had Danielle Hunter come in, get off of the block, but we weren't able to do anything with it. They're going to hand the ball. Oh, nope. There we go. There we go. Justin Fields is down. Getting the first look at Kellen Mond here. As you know, so far this year, not, not bad at all for a low 60, maybe 70 overall quarterback. 24 touchdowns, 5 interceptions on the year. And 3,200 yards. So hopefully we can continue this trend. And who knows? Maybe there, there's always that chance that somehow we get in there for the Offensive Rookie of the Year, which would be great because that's pretty much an automatic dev trait. We're going to run the ball here. Dalvin Cook able to go ahead and pick up a few. First run of the game able to pick up two yards. So down here at the 26 yard line, we're gonna try, we're gonna try for the skinny post. Try for the skinny post. We don't have anything, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna roll and slide down. Slide down. What are you? 
I'm sitting here, I'm hitting X, sitting X, and yeah. So back on defense here, and hopefully we can force another, you know, punt as we get Danielle Hunter here. Got the bull rush, got the bull rush, and we got roughing the passer. Oh, this is so bad. So bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is going on here? Who was that corner? Try to click on for the quick pick, and he just runs away. From who's that? Mooney? See this. Boom, all right. We're just going to see ya. See ya. Have a good day. Defense. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. For the touchdown to put us down, you know what, seven nothing, depending on the extra point. And yeah, we're down seven nothing here at four fifty one left to go in this ball game. We're getting the ball back. The nice thing is we will get the ball to start the second half. Tell him, Mond. Tell him, Mond, run, man. Get out of bounds. We're not going to go ahead and we're not going to try to test the X button for the slide. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to get out of bounds. Nice and easy. Pick up an easy first down. As we're going to go ahead, we're going to stop. We're going to run away from Khalil Mack there. And let's let's go ahead. Let's motion Irv Smith over. Uh, that way we get one extra blocker on the left side of the field. And we're just going to we're going to run. We're going to run. Take off with Dalvin Cook. Get a little juke. Get a little jukey juke. Able to pick up 15 on the play down to the 15 yard line. As Dalvin Cook, four for 28 and yeah, not a touchdown. As there's a chance that we could have Irv Smith here, depending on what the cornerback do, cornerbacks do, we're going to have to throw it away. Don't take the sack. You know, let's play smart. Go some 0 1 trap here with Dalvin Cook. Even though he is tired, there's a chance that we can, you know, get enough push. Uh, we have it. Juke. Oh, oh, get the first down. Got another first down. Let's go ahead. Get bring it down here to the two minute warning and then go ahead. And who knows? Maybe Dalvin Cook will be fully recovered there in this short little intermission. Or do we get Madison that comes in for the replacement? As we got Dalvin Cook, he's back in. We're going to go some inside zone. Try to go ahead and get enough push as we're there. There we go. There we go. Dalvin Cook in for the touchdown. Not today. Not today. They're going to call our timeout. Hopefully, they're going to punt this ball back to us. Oh, they're going to go for it. All right, so they're, they're going to go for it here. Um, let's go to that. No, I didn't get a click on it. They picked it up. Damn. Man, it would be nice if these guys would just start hit-sticking some more. Be nice if they'd start hit-sticking, start laying some wood. That way, you know, we got the chance to go ahead and cause some more fumbles. As they might just start running the ball here, just trying to kill clock. And they don't. So we're going to drop back. We're going to pretty much take over these guys. And there we go. We uh, we almost had the hit stick, but unfortunately not enough to have Justin Fields fumble that ball. And they're they're going to go. They're going to take their three here on second and six. Instead of trying to go and... You know, at least bomb one down. We missed. We almost had the block, but we missed. Down 10-7 here going into halftime.
Dalvin, come on, Dalvin. Nice little, you know, just, you know, shimmying. Getting a little shimmy going. Then we go ahead and pick up the first down to start the second half. Hope maybe, maybe we can go ahead and we can get it again. I don't know. Let's, you know, just set up the play. As we're going to go, we're going to try to hit Adam Thielen here coming across. As, you know, he's he has his X-Factor, you know, hit. And he's wide open. He's wide open, and we sailed it. We sailed the ball. Kellen Mond, unacceptable. And we lose the X-Factor already? Okay. Just going to run the ball again. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get Dalvin Cook. Good juke. Good juke, Dalvin. Go. Go. Ten, 20. 10. 5. Touchdown. Let's go. Easy peasy. Able to get a nice little block there. Hit the juke to you know set up the blocks as well. Maxed out the speed as we just took it the distance to go 69.2 total yards. Irv, Irv, Irv Smith, find the cover two beater. And, you know, old Zimmer called it correctly. As they got the blitz coming this time, that means they're in man. And we're just going to roll right. We're going to roll with Kel uh, Kelamond. And we're just going to, we're going to take it out of bounds. We don't trust that X button as we've reached 50 yards. This has pretty much been the game of the running quarterbacks as we got over 50 Justin Fields has a million. Um, you know, it's almost as bad as what happened in that game in the the last episode of the Tennessee Titans rebuild. I don't want to say it because I don't want to give it away. So if if you're interested and you want to know, be sure to go check it out. Uh, you know, needless to say, it was funny. Not something that I you know would ever expect to actually see, but it happened let alone we faced off against the Minnesota Vikings and they had a new quarterback. So here, fourth and inches, we're going to go for it. If we can't take the chance. We got Adam Thielen going across. Adam going across, able to almost able to hit a nice little juke. Uh, brings us up to the eight yard line as we're going to go ahead and try to make this a two possession game here in the third quarter. If, if not, you know, it, we're at least going to take it into the second, uh, in the second, into the fourth as Dalvin Cook down here to the one. You know, let, let's just try to hurry up, try to hurry up, get it back to him as we're just going to run it back up their throats and we get stuffed again. Oh, wow. Thought we were going to go ahead and get in there as we got some halfback power O here. Uh, should, let's flip the play, get away from Khalil Mack, as that should be enough to pretty much let us walk this ball in. Uh, we There we go. Easy walk-in touchdown for Dalvin Cook. So for some reason, Coach wants to run three-man deep. Don't know why we need to be in a prevent defense right here, but, you know, Whatever, uh, it it didn't work. Is, who is that? Is that is that still Jimmy Graham? Still Jimmy Graham out there rocking the tight end position for the Bears. Oh, screen, screen, screen! Pat P, Pat P. What happened to you know lockdown P? What happened? We slipped. We slipped. 
That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 47 yard line. Oh, shocker. Shocker. Nine for 78 for Justin Fields so far in the ball game. Here, four minutes left in the fourth quarter as we got an 11 point lead. We're sitting pretty comfortable, but you know, we know how Madden is. We know how the Sims go. Uh, there he goes again. My gosh. Why do they want us to go to this? Yeah, we're just going to put Hunter and um, Wanu in some QB spies. There's another screen pass. It's blown. Oh, God. God, Madden is so broken. Stop putting me in prevent. Why is Prevent there? Come on, Mike. What are you doing to this team? There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Don't you dare let Don't you dare let him go. Able to force the strip sack and unfortunately the Bears were there to recover. You know, Justin Fields just has all time in the pocket, and he's able to go ahead and you know get that completion. So we're just gonna go back to the double spy, and you know try to block clog up this middle as Justin Fields is gonna roll. He, Anthony, Anthony, what are you doing? Oh, good. There you go. There you go, Anthony. At least make up for that play where you don't even put your hands up. You at least swat the ball away. That should have been a pick. But, you know, I'll, I'll accept, you know, you at least batting that ball away as we're just going to try to get back in here, try to get some pressure. They're going to go low. They're going to go low. Huh? Okay. okay. Fourth and goal at the five-yard line. You know, they're going to kick the field goal because they think they think we're going to give this ball back to them with a minute and 18 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. I think not. Don't be surprised if an onside kick is coming. Yep. Like I said, onside kick's coming. We got the hands team out here on the field. Uh, come away with it. We got the Johnson dude able to go ahead and grab that ball as we got it at the 45. The Bears still have all three timeouts. So, you know, it's just going to come down to can we pick up a first down here? If we can, then that, that pretty much seals the game. We're going to send Earth Smith in motion, move that defense around, get them on off centered. As there we go. There we go. Juke, boom, first down. Like we saw, we got the victory against Chicago, 28-13. to 13. We had an extra rushing touchdown with Kellen Mon there. Go ahead, you just get the upgrades. Anthony Barr up to an 80 overall. You know, that that's nice. You know, he's he's starting to get a little up there in age, but he's still what 28, I believe. So we're we're still good to continue to rock with him. As we're sitting seven and seven 
And we are currently bottom dwellers in the NFC North. We're going to sim this game up here against the New Orleans Saints. Hopefully, we can come away with a victory. We suffer a 28-23 loss. Um, you know, hope, let, let's just try to get to 500 to end the year. 500 end of the year, that would be absolutely fantastic. And we do. 26-17. to 17. We get the victory over the Detroit Lions. We did not make the playoffs, but we got the contract extension. You know, we did we tied for the bottom dwellers, but you know, not 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 too terrible, especially rocking a very, very young quarterback. Taking a look here, we were the sixth overall offense and the 13th overall defense. Telemond, almost 4,000 yards, 3,800, 27 touchdowns to two interceptions. Not, not bad. Not terrible whatsoever. Rushing-wise, we had Dalvin Cook, 12 and 9. Uh, Alexander Madison, 460 and 7. And Kelamon also coming in, 163 and 3 touchdowns. Even C.J. Ham putting up three uh, rushing touchdowns. This dude... Almost 908. Adam Thielen, 7 and 9. Irv Smith, 756 and 4. Justin Jefferson, 741 and 4. They they need to figure out this whole receiver thing in this game. Defensively, Eric Kendricks led the way. 113 tack tackles. Mackenzie Alexander, 103. Uh, allowed 41 catches. And let's see. Uh, three deflections. Right, so you know, definitely not where we want to be, but you know, 103 tackles for a corner that that's a little little bad. As we got Stephen Stephen Weatherly coming away 11 TFLs, Eric Hendricks and Anthony Barr both with 10 apiece. Sack wise, we got Weatherly, Dalvin Tomlinson, Michael Pierce, and Daniel Hunter all with four. Interception wise, we had Anthony Barr led the way with three. Eric Hendricks with two, Harrison Smith with two, and old Patty P gave up 48 catches on the year and only came away with one interception. So with that, we will we'll take a look here at the playoff picture as you got the Seattle Seahawks there at the number one, Saints two, San Fran at seven, Bears at three uh, against the Arizona Cardinals and the Cowboys against the Rams. So you know we're just we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna work our way up here to the Pro Bowl. That way we can kind of take a look, see if any of our guys uh, were able to go ahead and get their name etched into the Pro Bowl uh, for the season. As we're here in Pro Bowl week, we can kind of go ahead and we can check it out. We have a breakout scenario for Xavier Woods. Um, sure. In the Pro Bowl, I don't know. But Pro Bowl roster, we got Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, and old famous Jameis. Uh, Dalvin Cook coming in there at halfback number two and Ham at fullback one. Taking a look here at the uh, receivers, not much. Unable to get any tight ends as well. And, you know, our offensive line just nowhere. Nowhere to be found as we're just going to continue down here through the defense. And it's not looking like we have anybody representing the Minnesota Vikings. So with that, we got the Patriots and the San Francisco 49ers kicking off here in Super Bowl 55 in game. We'll go ahead, we'll, we'll, we'll advance this, kind of just take a look at the season recap. That way we can kind of get an idea. Baker Mayfield was your MVP. John Harbaugh at Coach of the Year. Justin Fields, Offensive Player of the Year. Aaron Donald. Defensive Player of the Year, Justin Fields, Rookie of the Year, and Isaiah Simmons, Rookie of the Year. As New England tops the San Francisco 49ers 26-18, to and Jacoby Myers is your Super Bowl MVP. Taking a look here at retirement, I don't know if we have anybody. No, good. So we don't have to worry about you know the retirements this season, um, but kind of get a better look at the end-of-the-year awards Overall, I don't want to look at records. I want to look at awards. Uh, Baker there as MVP. Justin Fields. Did we tell him on coming in there at seven? So that that's actually really good to see. Defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. 
Uh, nobody for us. Offensive rookie goes to Justin Fields. Keller Mond coming in at number two. Defensive rookie, Isaiah Simmons. Best quarterback, Justin Fields. Where's Mond? Mond there at eight. Running back goes to Zeke. Dalvin Cook, runner up. Receiver goes to Antonio Brown. And Olabisi Johnson coming in there at number nine. Offensive line, uh, D-line, anybody? What about linebackers? Do we got any linebackers representing no DBs? Nothing. What about Kier? I don't even know who our kicker is. Greg Joseph coming in there at number eight. So, you know, had some guys come away with the uh, recognition that they deserved and kind of taking a look like we talked about. Pat P, I'm sorry, man. You're you're getting up there. And you're just not that locked down you know, corner that we that we everyone once knew, grew up with. So we're gonna have to let you walk, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna sim up here to free agency, kind of take a look at the class, and before that, we will go ahead and we'll jump into that next episode as we got twenty two and a half million dollars to spend. Kelsey's there. Kelsey Kelsey's interesting. Um, even if it's for a one year rental. It's very, very interesting. Mitchell Swartz as well. Um, you know, we talked about looking at for a third um, receiver. Michael Gallup is available, which would pair nicely with Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. But you know, we're not 100% sure. Desmond King get that, you know, a star dev in that DB room, you know, could pay off big time. So just kind of looking around, even, you know, some of the older guys, Sidney Jones is there. He's already a scheme fit. Justin Coleman. Uh, yeah, so free agency could get pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> so as you see on the screen there on my socials, don't forget to drop a like on all of them. All the links are down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that sub button with the little bell icon on. That way, every time I post new content, you are one of the first to know. And like I said... We are we're pushing for a 15 like mark here on the video, so let's make sure to hit it. And as always, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying these rebuilds, and you know if you got any suggestions. Let me know. Um, pretty much the goal is to finish out the rebuilds here on Madden 21. Uh, hopefully, as long as you know nothing big happens, uh, I got to load up a lot of videos. Because I'll be going away in July for about a week. So hopefully I'll have enough build up for that vacation. But again, till next time, peace.